up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling match. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and we'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Mekhakala, Russia, Islam Makachev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big quest lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice right hand. All right, single collar time now. Quick 
back entry to get Man, in on a that single. Was a great single. Oh. Takes it forward high. What a fantastic take now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cut. Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and the also staying active. On repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills with the ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. There's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message ah. to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Nice kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And they separate. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Pretty good right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice kick down, cut, kick down, cut. Over and over, he secures his takedown. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The kimura is not the arm; it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing it. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just missed with the left there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick clock there. Beautiful strike. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh! Right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, nicely. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Um, he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. And he's out. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh! Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. What a punch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, "Oh my goodness, I'm winning." Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or. Find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Ten seconds remain in round two. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure. 
pressure on the choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Landed some good shots, DC, but oh! he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, a huge head kick. Oh, straight right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, taking for a ride. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. in a single collar tie. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. tonight a huge knockout under the lights they'll be talking about that one for some time ladies and gentlemen referee Herb Gaines called to stop this contest at three minutes eight seconds of the third round declaring the winner by knockout Bruce the Dragon so the celebration is on with him and his team and rightfully so a monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout he spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, 
I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance today in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hand.